Oh, but this one is one that's infected with a fungus that makes its bum fall off. You wait and you hope and you think it's not going to be as great as it was the last time, and then it is. Over long periods of evolutionary time, you know, they've selected this strategy and they've spent the last 17 years growing, drinking plant sap, you know, molting to larger sizes, and finally now they're getting to be adults. So they're gonna have this four to six week period as adults where they can find a mate. Some people think that there's some significance about it being a prime number because it might make it less likely that you could have kind of coordinated predators that would be predicting every two years or every four years. And so it's a little bit trickier math for predators to be able to come in sync with these, with these insects. Well, this satiation strategy is actually kind of brilliant, right? So there's so many individuals that presumably all of the predators around are just gonna be full. And so then hopefully they won't take you um, and you'll be able to survive as an adult, find a mate, but also as competitive exclusion because there's so many of this one kind of thing that's a periodical cicada that maybe you outcompete other things that would be competing for the same resource space and what have you. The males have this organ, it's called a timbal organ, and they're vibrating it. Well, that sound, that, that, that noise that you hear, are males calling to try and attract a female. Females listen, and they're listening to see whether or not that species-specific pattern says, oh, that's a male from my species, I can mate with that male but also the duration and the, the loudness with which the male is making that call tells the female something about like the fitness, how good of a mate that mate is gonna be. A lot of people for centuries have been calling these things locusts, but they're the opposite of locusts because they're not actually a plague. They're not destroying crops. They're actually living their life completely in exclusion of humans um, and they're great nutrition. When they die, when these individuals die, that's the fate of every individual is to die, is that then they pass this nutrition as they decompose into the ground, sometimes, you know, giving nutrition to the very tree that they've been feeding on for the last 17 years, which is remarkable.